Hey everybody! In this short video I want to show you how to use the TYPO3 coding standards package to set up the PHP CS fixer with the TYPO3 coding guidelines and how to use it. To get started let's first look at the GitHub page. I have that here. So you can find that package at TYPO3 slash coding standards. And if you scroll down, you get installation instructions and how to use it. So this is a package that contains at the moment a PHP CS fixer rule set and an editor config. And as it is in a composer package, installation is pretty easy. We can just require it with composer. Let's do that. I'm using ddef, so I have the ddef prefix here, but otherwise it's just the normal composer require command. It's downloading that. And now the package itself is available. If you look at the instructions, you can see that there are two setup commands that you can use. So we have a setup for projects and a setup for extensions. In my case, I want to use the setup for projects as I have a project here. So let's do that. Again, I'm using ddev, can't forget. What this does is it copies and creates the default configuration files in my project so that I can use them and adjust them to my needs. If I look into my PHP storm, I should now see an editor config file here with some information on how to indent and style um, files in my editor so that all of my teammates use the same settings. And I additionally have a CS fixer file. Then the documentation also tells me how I can run that now. This is the next command that I'm now copying. This is composer exec php cs fixer. Let's copy that. Go back to the terminal. Think about the ddev again and run it. And it's running, so it's installed. And it tells me that there is a fix command that would try to fix my settings. Let's see. Oh no, something broke surprisingly, because I didn't adjust the configuration to my project. So let's look at the configuration it generated and we can directly see what's going wrong. There is a path to a source directory here that I don't have, because in my case, in my local projects, I'm usually using the path packages extensions for local project specific files. So I'm going to add that here and now it should run without error. See, there's also no files to fix here, so we don't get any more output than that. In my case, there is another issue. I'm really bad at remembering things. So probably at the latest tomorrow, I would have forgotten how the command was called, so PHP dash cs dash fixer or php cs fixer or whatever. So what I usually tend to do is use composer to make my life easier and add that to the composer scripts section. Let me show you. So I have already some scripts here as you can see and I would just add another one. Let's call it cgl because it's uh, taking care of the coding guidelines. And then I want to run PHP CS fixer. It even offers it. And I want to run fix when I click it. Let's try this. That looks a lot easier because now I can click little green arrows. So I don't really like having all these files lying around in the root of my project for no reason. 
So I tend to clean that up a little by moving that in a directory that I then can close and never see again. So what I'm usually doing is I have a build folder where things like the CI configuration may live. So I'm going to move this file there and adjust the path here to be one path up. That should work. And then I can add it as a config parameter here. So this is going to be build. And now I see I already forgot the file name. And it's called .php cs fixer.php. Let's try this again. That looks fine. Now I can run it from within PHP Storm and I also can run it from the run configuration, which also means I can have a shortcut for it. And I don't need to remember how it's called because my PHP Storm remembers for me or Composer remembers for me. And this is how to set up just the CX fixer because there isn't much more in the type three coding standards package at the moment. There's also the editor configuration, which you don't need to set up in any way, which is just loaded automatically. If you have the corresponding plugin installed in PHP Storm or VS code or whatever you are using. And for now that's everything, but I sure hope that the people working on the type three coding standards will add more configuration files in the future. So I'm going to keep an eye on that repository and I hope you do too. And we can see what the future brings. Maybe you have some ideas of what to add into that repository, then I'm sure they will be happy to see you contribute. Until then, this is what we got. Have fun with it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and see you next time.